everyone this is Dr. Furkan welcome to a new tutorial of Real 3D Ball Vicon. In this video I'm gonna discuss about the new released version which is fast, optimized and gives you very intuitive graphic user interface. Let me first describe the short description of different section of graphic user interface. This version can import a stack of images, a single volume file, a raw volume and a mesh file. It can export a stack of images, single volume and a mesh file as well. The volume menu deals with the volumetric data and surface menu deals with the surface data. It also gives you a different layout. You can measure data with different kind of marks ups. You can also save them and load them. The slice tab deal with the slice views and slices. The volume tab deal with the volumetric data and volume view. And surface data deal with the surface data and surface view. You can also import a recent file. For example, I have also imported this file. And you can see you can import multiple volumetric data. So one volume, volume data is this one. And the second, if I view it, the second volume, you can see that. Let me just hide it first. You, you can have different tools to manipulate the volumetric data. You can also resample data. And you can also active it. So active in slice view. If I go to slice, I can change the contrast, set the range of the volu volumetric data intensity. If I synchronize volume, so the volume data will also be synchronized with this. In the volume tab, you can set the volume view mode, you can also set the quality of the volume view you see when I move this data you see some pixels but if the quality is maximum you don't see it so you can also set different presets you can also save them to the disk and you can also load presets so you can create preset for example I have created this preset just for bones you see different and you can also save preset you can also load them later you can have different color maps and here you can set uh, lightings you can also enter slice planes you can extract surface out of this volumetric data from here you can preview it see so you can set the uh, intensity I have a value of the surface and then you can extract it. You see the both surface and volumetric data in the same view. You can see that. So this helps uh, to view how much quality you are sacrificing in generating ISO surface. You have this volume. You can preview the surface and then by pressing the extract button you can extract the surface and I have also extracted this surface and if I go here and view the five ups you see here is a surface and here is a volumetric data so to manipulate the view you can have different options to set the view and zoom in zoom out okay these options will have in each view you can move mouse by pressing the left mouse button to change this contrast level you see here in the slice view left and right will increase or decrease the brightness and up and down will increase or decrease the contrast and you change the slices from here and you see if I just disable it and enable this one and in if you view this ruler you see here I have drawn some polygons and see you see here for show you 
you see this is synchronized in volumetric view as well so you can measure your data using these mockups if you want to change the properties of polygon change the properties you have different properties of these and then the surface tab you deal with the surface data you have basic operations to, to see as a wireframe surface points and you can also decimate this data and then you can export it later after decimating you see these uh, 500,000 triangles are removed from the original data now you can see as wireframe and you can also crop this data active the lighting is pretty bright shining and you can enable this